Well, good afternoon. My name is Tim Flood. I uh, am the International Business Development Director for the Boeing Company in charge of ability and surveillance, which includes the P-8 aircraft you see behind us here. It's been my pleasure to talk to you this afternoon about the aircraft and our, and our program. Uh, so first off, I'd like to acknowledge the great partnership we have with the U.S. Navy, and we're really grateful they brought the aircraft here to Dubai so we can showcase this uh, awesome capability to both uh, the customer and to, uh, to the media. So a bit about the program, I mean, we've so far delivered 140 aircraft to uh, four customers. We have four additional customers that have placed orders, and we are seeing increased demand around the globe for this capability. And it is unparalleled. Uh, there are other maritime surveillance assets, but in terms of uh, range, endurance, and capability, you know, the V8 is, uh, is unmatched. And as we're starting to see uh, increased security threats from uh, from, uh, from submarine actors, we are seeing increased demand to counter those threats with, with the P-8 aircraft. So we're excited about the future opportunities for the P-8. Now, as far as the capability of the aircraft, I mean, it's a 737 next generation uh, heritage aircraft, but it has been uh, produced through that production facility, but from, from the start, it's an inline produced aircraft as a P-8. So that means that it's been ruggedized to, you know, to fly the mission, it's got the uh, ability to carry weapons on the wings. It's got a weapons bay under the belly to carry torpedoes and air sea rescue kits to provide search and rescue opportunities. And then inside the aircraft, you'll notice uh, yeah, a very different configuration. There's similar up front with the two pilots, but then in the aft area, we've got uh, six mission, uh, mission crew workstations for uh, where the, the mission crew will sit and perform all raft of mission related duties, whether it be from anti-submarine warfare or anti-surface warfare or just general uh, intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance mission. Uh, and I mentioned earlier, has the ability to perform humanitarian assistance through search and rescue with that ability to drop uh, life rafts to survivors in the water. If you go further aft of the crew station, it carries 129 sonobuoys. Now a sonobuoy is used to uh, deploy into the water can be used to either passively or actively detect, uh, localize, and track submarines. That's a, a key feature of the aircraft, and they are they are deployed through uh, three uh, three rotary um, launches, as well as um, a free fall shoot to deploy the the, the, son, the son of boys. Now the aircraft itself has a, a raft of sensors to do the missions I mentioned. It's got uh, it's got a, an APY-10 radar for uh, for surface search and also picking up small contacts such as a, a submarine mast and then there's uh, electronic support measures for passive uh, detection of, of, of radar or, uh, of, or um, active transmissions. We have an acoustic suite for processing those sun buoys that I mentioned were deployed. There's an infrared electro-optics camera for you know, day-night use to classify contacts on the surface. Um, you know, as well as a, a well-integrated uh, fusion system, so all the picture, all this data is is is, uh, is co-located to give the the crew uh, an enhanced situational awareness of of the environment, so they can go and prosecute their mission as they as they require. The other thing I'd like to mention is the is the, the range and endurance of this aircraft. I mean, it is it is faster. Uh, than its predecessor, so it means it can get out on station quickly, which is really important when you're trying to you know, localize a threat, you want to be, speed is important. The other thing is the aircraft is capable of being air-to-air air -air refueled as well, so you can actually extend that endurance through uh, in-flight refueling capability that's, uh, that's inherent with the system. Um, that's really the overview of the aircraft. Is there any specific questions you'd like to ask? Yes, India's bought P8, the P8I as we call them. Yes. Yeah, so um, India placed an order for, for eight aircraft initially, and then they exercised an option for additional four. Now, of those, we've delivered 11 uh, those, then we'll deliver the 12th uh, early in 2022. And we're seeing, we are seeing uh, you know, increased demand just through the satisfaction uh, of the aircraft with the Indian Navy, and we are pretty confident that we'll see uh, further, uh, further order from, from India. Thank you so much, Tim. Thank no you worries. very much. My Wonderful. absolute pleasure. Thank you.